Hello, welcome to the Soul Print Minis. Thank you so very, very much for being here. Um, to round up the week, this whole week was like a lot about U.S. politics and what's going on, etc. But I want to round out the week. Um, it's Happy Friday today. I want to round out the week with taking a peek at Ukraine. So, for a long, long time, I kept getting, and I think I, I had mentioned this in another video, I kept seeing a video of sort of an explosion going off by the Kremlin, and everybody was like, Cindy, that's crazy, that's not going to happen. Um, but, so what we're hearing now, and, for, and there have been, I, I don't know, a week or two ago there was something, and then there, last week there was some more. Um, and so what we're hearing now is that there are Russian forces who are sympathetic to Ukraine, who are actually operating within Ukraine, causing instability, um, you know, whatever. I don't know what they do, but they do stuff. Um, so because part of, uh, you know, I mean, part of it is already giving Putin back some of his crazy. But I think more than that, it is about trying to destabilize um, some of the people in Russia because I think they have about had it. Um, but I want to just take a quick peek and see how Ukraine is doing. I have to tell you, I, I, I had really, really hoped that this thing would not go further than the one-year anniversary, which was at the end of February. It obviously has. We're now at the beginning of June. Um, but the Ukrainian people are are. They're strong, and they're going to get through this one way or the other. But let's just take a look and see how Ukraine is doing. Ukraine's current trajectory, Ukraine's current trajectory, Ukraine's current trajectory. They have magic up their sleeves, and they are very much moving to a time of celebration and of success. Now, I don't know what that means, that uh, this is going to stop really soon, but they definitely have the momentum and the energy going in their direction. So we can anticipate over the spring and into the summer, they're going to make some really great strides forward in terms of um, putting Russia and Putin kind of back on their on their heels a bit. Um, and so that is super, super exciting news for Ukraine. Um, it definitely feels like they have the the stuff, um, <laughs> whether that is the materials, the manpower, the training, um, help from within Russia, help from around the world, but the momentum is theirs and they're growing very, very strong. And I love the fact that we have predominantly yellow background, yellow background, and a blue background, which of course we all know by now are the colors for Ukraine. So that is super, super exciting news. Um, since I have like another maybe couple of minutes um, on this mini, I'm going to then take a quick look at the because you almost can't do one without the other. Um, every time I step into to, to Putin's energy, it's like like a low grade panic, right? He has this this purpose for his life, this vision of, of what his life was was about, what it was supposed to accomplish, and his life force is is dwindling, and he's not not only not seeing it getting accomplished, he's getting it, he's seeing it getting destroyed. Um, and, you know, it's that sort of back an animal into a corner kind of energy that you have to be mindful and careful of. So let's just um, take a quick peek and see how... Um, Putin... Russia war, Putin, Russia war, Putin, Russia war. Okay. Hmm. 
He is going to have, okay, this is what's going on. He's trying to kind of move things in a certain direction. Um, like he's trying to change the narrative because lately the narrative has not been very positive for Putin or Russia. Um, he's trying to change that narrative, but all that's coming out is like garble. Okay, so, um, you know, he says everything's fine, yak, yak. And then the next thing you know, there's another drone attack or, or whatever. So part of what's going on there is a lot of mixed messaging, not only coming out of Russia, but for the Russian people per se. And it, it doesn't feel like it's from their, their news. It feels like they're getting it other ways, whether that is, you know, word of mouth, um, people in Ukraine who, who are talking to people in Russia, or I don't know, but, but slowly, slowly, but surely the truth is coming out. And Putin is having a harder time kind of containing it and controlling it. And he's going to try. He's going to try some real, I'm the man, I'm tough, I'm strong, you can't fight me back. But honestly, it really does feel like he's going to get pushed back because this is so not in keeping with um, the current energy of the planet. It's not. And so he is going to get pushed back. I wish somebody would give me a date when this thing is going to be over. Um, even as I say it, knowing that that's almost impossible. But, okay, so what they're showing me, thank you at least for this. So what they're showing me is a weight scale, right? Um, and so, you know, when everything is, is as it should be, I guess they're equal, but what they're showing me is Ukraine is up here and Russia is here. So Russia is losing ground while Ukraine is gaining ground. And whether that is literally acres of land or whether it has more to do with like warfare, like with equipment, with manpower, that kind of the tangibles, but it definitely feels like, you know, almost day by day, Ukraine's position gets stronger and Russia seems to become weaker. And that, I think, is a terrific place to end on a Friday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Take care now. Bye-bye.